Well, if you have special mobility needs, there is a new app to uh, help you, to support you. Its goal is to make the city of Grand Rapids more inclusive. And it's not just for people with those challenges, it's for the entire community. Our Gabrielle Pfeiffer is joining me here at the desk to explain this new app and kind of unpack its benefits for a lot of folks out there. What is this new app and what is it called for starters? Yeah, so it's called MOVE. Okay. So M U V E, and it stands for My Universal Vision for Everyone. It's free in your phone's app store, and there's a chance for you to be part of the official launch that's happening tonight. Now, through the MOVE app, users with different abilities can book rides to places across the Grand Rapids area. It even allows you to, quote, tag a location. So this means you can go anywhere in the city and through the app you can comment, take pictures, and answer questions related to accessibility for that specific location. Is there a handicapped parking nearby? Is there a, cur a curb cut out for individuals that are in wheelchairs to get into the uh, location? Um, are the bathrooms accessible? And based on how you answer those questions, it'll automatically generate uh, a colored tag. So whether it's green for 100% accessibility, orange for um, partial accessibility, and then red for limited to no accessibility. So the goal is to remove barriers that may exist so people with these special mobility needs can know what issues they have at certain locations. I reached out to the disability advocates of Kent County who welcomes this idea as not every place is ADA compliant. They tell me when we plan and build, we have to work towards universal designs. The co-founder for the app says this is a chance to do just that. You have to understand that you know there's little tweaks and, and things that need to happen in certain communities and we're willing to you know make those changes but without people um, participating and giving that feedback it's hard for us to, to do that. And so that's where you, the community, comes in. There's an event happening tonight at Rosa Park Circle where a group will walk around the city to assess some areas of need. They'll meet up at 5 and it'll last about an hour.